Hi, beautiful souls. How's everyone going? Welcome, it's Angelina the Psychic, and welcome, welcome. I'm a little bit late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm a little bit late, but welcome. Those that want to have a personal reading with me, please go to Angel um to please go to Spiritual Events Directory. Um, and I'm going to be doing a collective reading for the Twin Flame um, Collective, and um, we're going to look at you know what your divine masculine's doing good morning good i said good morning oh my god naomi how are you going might be morning somewhere so to someone somebody's watching me early in the morning i guess hi everyone welcome welcome okay collective reading for everyone hi welcome and we're going to be looking at what's going on with the divine masculine at this moment and i want to look at you know what's going on with the divine feminines hey um you know, see see what um I can give you or tell you maybe something. Hi everyone, welcome. Hello, beautiful souls, beautiful souls. Oh, thank you, Angela. I try to be happy. I try to be happy every day. I try to be happy every single day. Um, let's have a look at what card is for the collective. Personal readings, please go to spiritual events directly directory. Can't even speak. Wonder what's going to come out. Holy, you know, I'm not speaking. I think it's morning. Must be people overseas or something. Something's going on. Um, hi. Hello and welcome. So what's going on? What's happening? What messages does Spirit want to tell you guys? Hello. Welcome. You are loved. You are loved. Of course, you are loved. You're 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 very blessed, and you know you're one of God's children, um, the Creator's children. So you, of course, you're very loved. You're very taken care of. You're very protected. You know that, don't you? Very protected. Um, and it says you're enough just as you are. And um, if you don't have a model for love, imagine yourself as a child, perhaps. You have a favorite picture of yourself as an adorable five-year-old um, child. Look into your own sweet eyes and acknowledge just how special you are. The child inside you still needs um, the tenderness and so does the adult you. Please don't abandon yourself. Instead, tap into the ocean of love inside you. Hello, everyone. Spirit wants you to always take care of yourself first. If you have put other people... Sorry getting up too close too close to you um if you if you um are putting other people before you that's just not the way to go i understand you know that you know we've brought, been brought up to in you know many cultures to put you know other people first you know to make sure that um this is a collective reading for twin flames um, you know, any personal readings, please um, just go to um, Spiritual Events Directory, you know, for a personal reading from me. Uh, but we're going to be talking to, um, to the collective. So take what resonates. See what Spirit wants to tell you at this time. See what Spirit wants to let you know at this time that you need to actually hear. Um, and at this moment, you know, it is about maybe putting people first before you. Um, you know, everybody else's needs, wants, you know, you know, if I do this, mum's not going to be happy. If I do that, dad's not going to be happy. If, you know, if, if, if I can't wear my, ta my tattoo, you know, out into the dance floor because everybody's going to be looking at me, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, just really worried about society and everybody else. Um, you know, and that's just not the way to actually live. You know, you you must follow your heart. You must follow your heart in what you actually believe and tell the truth to yourself. So many people I know are stubborn um, and they get stuck in their ways and they're in like um, in a box. They, they, they refuse to change because that's just the way that, you know, like a sheep, you know, they're, they're sheep. You know, you know, are you a sheep? You know, do you follow everybody else? They, everybody's going to jump off the bridge. Well, well, you know, I might as well jump off the bridge too. Even though you can see like another little bridge, you know, that's been built, you know, along the, the, the corner of the shore and it's going to take you into a better place. 
but you follow that and the thing is that you know at the end of the day you know you're here to be tested about your own knowing or did you know that you're here in the school earth is our school and you're here to learn to grow to evolve that's why you're here that's why you came to be listening to me because we're here to evolve and grow you know nothing is coincidence you know and nothing is ever coincidence and the fact that, you know, you even fell in love with somebody and you're like, why do I have this connection with this person? Why do I still want this person? Why am I being brought to this person? What is it about the energy about this person? This person is here to teach you things, to help you grow and evolve, to, to find your own true happiness, which is within yourself. It's like when you find yourself, you find the person. When you find you and you find you in the mirror, that's when you'll find the person. Someone autopilot. That's a good way of saying it too. Fantastical. Um, I feel like, you know, to always um, evoke the light within yourself. So we ask the creator of all that is and all the angels and all the guides, um, all the highest protection to be protecting this page, to protecting yourself, to protecting the readings that we're doing between you and the person that you love. So think about the person that you love. Um, their first name, their second name, their face, and while I'm shuffling, we're going to be looking at um, the Divine Masculine first of all, and then we're going to the Divine Feminine, you know, so what, you know, you're feeling and what they're feeling. So at this moment, I just want to see what Divine Masculine, where Divine Masculine is at this very, very moment with you. So think about that person. Take a big breath in and just focus on this. You know that John Lennon song, uh, it's like starting over. I think I put it up on my face, my, my Facebook page. Um, I think the words are like our, our life together is so precious together. We've, we have grown. Um, and it's sort of like, it's like when, when you see each other again, it's sort of like, it's going to be just starting like over all over again. Um, it is such a beautiful connection. It's like it doesn't matter how many times you are apart and how many times you come back together. If you do not know, know this person, this person, you know, even if you saw them the last lifetime, when you see each other again, it is just sparks. It, it's just a connection. If you know this person, it doesn't matter how many times you have seen this person, this person, and you have this electricity, this beautiful connection. Uh, you can't deny it. They can't deny it. Maybe circumstances, you know, um, things in life sort of like have pushed you away. People, um, you know, religion, family, friends, um, you know, relationships, you know, karmic relationships that you might have been in. Maybe they chose the wrong person and, you know, you're still waiting for them. Um it is, you know, it doesn't matter. This is about a, um, a lesson and a connection about you actually, how your emotions are with this, how their emotions are with that, how how you try so hard to be together by just growing, you know, and the more you grow, the more connected you are, the more you understand, the more connected you are, um, you know, and if you, the Divine Feminine, are always, always, concentrating on the creator and concentrating on your work and doing your own thing you bring this person close to you um i have had many people just sit there and just wait wait and do absolutely nothing just nothing i'm sitting here i'm crying i'm waiting i'm like really you know you should have changed within a couple of months you know you should have already changed if you haven't changed and your situation hasn't changed for months then you're doing nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing, you know. So we need to just get you moving, going, right, where's my blockage? What do I have to do for myself? Don't look at him. Look at yourself. I always say this, you know, because I really want you guys to, I want more messages because I get a lot of messages of people coming together and it makes me so happy. 
It overwhelms me, people actually coming together because the Divine Feminines are actually doing their job. That is freaking fantastic, people. Divine Masculines trying to have faith in the connection. Trying to have faith. They're trying to... Um, that, because they're, they're being manifesting about you too. There is acknowledgement through... The, you know, the Divine Feminine expressing um, through gifts. Gifts, um, doing things for them from the kindness of their heart. There's been an acknowledgement. Hello, beautiful people. There's been an acknowledgement. And in return, the Divine Masculine um, comes, you know, having faith, you know, in you. Maybe seeing you in a different way. It's like, look at this beauty, you know, look, look at this person, you know, giving to me. Okay, so the the connection, you know, the, the energy all of a sudden started to pick up. There is a lot of, you know, uh, wishes, you know, from Divine Masculine that they're wishing for, for the Divine Feminine. But it's sort of like if this connection had been shut off, it's sort of like it's awakening. It's sort of like waking up, you know, maybe um, there's some type of feeling that's happening here. So they're trying to be, you know, in this present moment, right now, in this present moment with you, um, to, to see what is actually, you know, happening, you know, between the both of you. Might use some of my tarot cards. So I want to look at how they felt when Divine, when they found out that Divine Feminine was actually doing, oh, you're beautiful, Andrew. That is beautiful. Okay, so expressing love through gifts. So tell me more about how she felt, but how he felt, how he felt. How did it express? Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So Divine Masculine has acknowledgement. This is an acknowledgement. Um, we have the Six of Wands. Like, yes. Okay, she cares. Okay, she she feels. Okay, she she still wants me. Yes, 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 yes. Even though he might know it's a bit difficult between the both of you, um, this divine masculine is like, oh my god, yes, she still cares for me. You're like, but you you're the one that's shut off. You know, you're like you're you're shut off from me. But your Divine Masculine's wish come true. You're everything. You're everything. I do feel like maybe he feels that, you know, he has to have some some type of approval somewhere. Um, maybe it's from others or, you know, um, his own mind, you know, expecting things to be a certain way, you know. Um, his, his mind is, you know, sort of like... I feel like sometimes some divine masculines are feeling a bit damaged when it comes to love because because I'm just feeling a little bit damaged when it comes to love even though you you might be the wish fulfillment you're the, you're the wish you're the you're the wish you're the dream person for to, for them to have you is to have absolute pleasure you know you're a cherished dream you're you're everything to this divine masculine okay so let me ask you more The faith. Where is he trying to keep the faith? Where is he trying to keep the faith? He's trying to get. Look, I'm seeing him work um, hard and maybe getting some recognition when it comes to money, when it comes to certain things. But it seems to be like a type of pressure when I looked into the to the coin part of things, trying to get some like a, to a certain position. He's trying to keep the faith even though he has secrets. He, he wants to tell you certain things. Um, he wants to let you know certain things that have gone on and everything else too. I don't really feel the Divine Feminine being upset with him. 
I just don't feel that. But it's Divine Feminine that feel it is. No, because Divine Feminine is very much aware of the connection between the both of you. And it's sort of like she's very deep with her feelings. So Divine Feminine is very deep with her feelings, very deep about... Um, and he sees her like this too, you know, like she's just full of love, you know, full of it all. And, you know, at the end of the day, she, she has um, a lot of intuition. So he sees that she's very psychic, you know. So we've got the High Priestess and we've got the, the, the Queen of Cups. He sees her as very beautiful, very, um, you know, she's very psychic. She has a lot to offer. She has a lot to give this, you know, beautiful, divine, um, feminine. And I kind of feel like maybe there's things that you need to talk about. I feel like maybe there's things that you need to clear up because I feel like maybe he has a few questions for you that maybe are not even true, you know. There's just things that have been going through his head that I don't feel like it's true. Because I see him worried. I feel like once everything is out on the table and you guys are actually talking about certain things, the passion with this Divine Masculine is actually very strong. He's stubborn. Sorry, Divine Masculines. You know, the, the Divine Masculine is very, very stubborn. He doesn't want to acknowledge that he's stubborn. It's like, you know, if a divine masculine is, you know, listening, he's like, I'm not that stubborn. I'm, I'm actually quite reasonable, you know. Anyway, um, you know, um, that's funny. But the thing is, it's like, at the end of the day, you know, he has new ideas, you know, for the both of you. He does. He, don't be surprised that he'll start taking the lead. Don't be surprised that when this conversation happens, you're talking, you both are like, okay, it's, it's you and me, you and me, and, and as soon as he's like, okay, we're having this conversation, it's you and me, he's, he's like a soldier. He's like going to be f so strong in it. You're going to be like, hang on a minute. I've been pushing for this for like ages and all of a sudden now you now you want to, now you want to, now you want to take my Pegasus and you you want to, you know, overtake it. The thing is that it's like um, anything that has been not sure, anything that's sort of like made him doubt the connection would be cleared, is going to be cleared up, is going to be cleared up. You are going to clear it up. Divine Feminines always must, because he's thinking about you, usually this is somebody from the past. It is usually someone that's from the past, somebody that, you know, from now to six months, you know, this person, you know, just, he had been dreaming about you. He, um, he's been looking at his feelings, his own feelings about you. Yeah. He could feel Divine Feminine not being okay. He could feel you. He can, he can feel you. Deep, very deep in his thoughts. He never let go. He he never ever let go. He didn't he didn't let go of you. Don't think he has. He's never let go of you. So it's very, very interesting. Um so a lot of yous that have that connection already are gonna be working out. This person's coming back to you. This divine man is gonna wants to come back to you, has regrets of maybe words or things that have happened between the both of you, um, misunderstanding, misopportunities. The love is still there, people. The, the love is very, very, very much there. You're going to work it out, you know, so like I encourage any Divine Masculines that are out there that sort of like are in two thoughts about this. It's like it's going to be just fine. For the love of Pete and Mary and everything else that's above, um, you know, we started off with John Lennon, you know, starting over that, that, that song, listen to it, you know, it's like, let's go far away, somewhere far, far away, nobody can find us, and it's just you and me, not the world, it's just you and me, in that bubble of love, okay, the vibration's going to be overwhelming, like, I've got tears, you know, we're both overwhelmed with joy, with happiness, because it is such a beautiful connection between two souls, the world needs this vibration. The world needs this. 
I can't even express it anymore. You know, you guys are meant to be together and a lot of you should have been together a long time ago. What are the lessons that you need to, to look at and what are the lessons that I'm talking and I'm hearing spirit talk, so just wait one second. So what is it the divine masculine has to do at this moment to get closer to his divine feminine? Can we look at that? Please, spirit, have a look. So what is it the divine masculine has to do to get closer to his divine feminine to, to push through to this? Let's. What is it, guys? What is it? What's the word for it and what is the card? Tell me. Okay. Not getting a word. Okay. Okay. One second. Let me look it. I'm looking. I'm looking. To my masculine. To my masculine. To my masculine. Let's start with this sacred union. Can't make up this banana crap, can I? Like, I just can't. You saw me. You saw me shuffle. Sacred Union says, Honor the treasure, your honor and treasure the, your relationship for, for it's truly sacred. Acknowledge, understand that this is a divine union between two people. This is, this is just a beautiful connection between two souls. Divine masculines, you know, set yourself free. Set yourself free if it, if it's addictions, if it's worries, if it's others. For the love of Josh, understand this. You know, some people, you know, aren't going to be living all your life. That's the truth. If it's if it's family, they just won't. You would have wasted all your life to please one person or two people. Some of your friends, you might even get rid of them and they weren't together, they weren't with you until you're old and you gave up the love of your life for friends, for people that won't even do anything, like haven't done or won't do things or not don't even care, like that's the truth. Set yourself free. When it comes to religion and things like that, if there's something in between the both of you, you, you can work it out. You can work it out, okay? If he doesn't, if he doesn't, if he doesn't like a pig, well then don't eat a pig in front of him, you know. It's like just do certain things to set yourself free. Don't get in your head about certain things. Okay? Be in acceptance. Be in acceptance that this is real. This is this is the connection. I feel like, you know, a lot of divine masculines need to pay attention to all the signs. All the signs are there. Just as Divine Feminine is getting all the signs that love is coming, the Divine Masculine is getting all his signs. Pay attention to your signs. Pay attention to what Spirit tells you. Have a really, really, really good look at what Spirit's telling you. You know, are you seeing her name places? Are you hearing her name in the wind? Are you... Are you is spirit coming into you, into your dreams? Are you dreaming about her? Like, a, are you, what is going on? Have a really, really, really have a good look at it because and all the manifestations that you have been wishing, bit by bit, they've actually been coming towards you. So it's just a matter of time for you to actually see that she's coming towards you. Um, to acknowledge the fact that you are special. A lot of divine masculines don't have. Um, Self-love, you need to love you. You find you, you find her. You find your worth. If she loves you and you know she loves you, why don't you love you? If, if you know she thinks that you are the most beautiful creature in the whole entire planet, why don't you love you? You were made exactly, exactly, exactly for her. Do you understand your height, your butt, your ears, your hair, your nails? Everything was made for her, just for her taste. Do you get it? It's like, so you're perfectly made for her. You are special. You're special not just for her, but for the creator, for the angels, 
for spirit, for everything that is around, divine masculines, you are special. Find your worth, find your, um, your masculine energy. If somebody's taken it away, if people have taken it away, if your ex has taken it away, call it back. I call back my power from this lifetime and any other lifetime. Call it back and feel it. Feel all the energy come back to you, Divine Masculine. And get enthusiastic. Get excited. Get on your horse and ride. Spirit will lead you. Spirit will tell you, go now. Do it now. Work on this. Heal this. Look at that. Spirit will tell you. Spirit will tell you. Um, be in acceptance. So that's what divine masculines have to do. And have a physical outlet. Maybe um, some of you feel like you don't feel good about yourself. Divine feminine is doing the same thing. She's like, you know, going to try to look good for you, look good for herself. You know, get all hot and stuff, you know. And the thing is that, you know, if you two need to get into shape because, you know, you are going to be locked, you know, behind the doors anyway when you get together. I'm just saying, you need to get physical because otherwise I don't know how you are going to cope. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Maybe do a bit of, you know, push-ups and that because, anyway. That's, 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 that's another show. But Divine Feminine. A lot of divine feminines need, you know, help when it comes to this, you know, um, connection. You know, just a lot of, lot of help. Be willing to accept the help. A lot, of, I, I got a lot of divine feminines, you know, always coming to me for either mentoring or he or healing. Okay. Allow yourself, you know, to, to accept help, you know, because I kind of feel like maybe the both of you are, you know, needing support at this time. And I feel like, you know, it's the things can become very, very, very overwhelming. Hi from New Zealand. Hello, everyone. So this action, you know, I feel like... You have to do a few walks around the block, Andrew. <laughs> do what you must. Do what you must. You've got to pick her up and, you know, throw her around. You know, it's like, you know, we need we need our muscles. So at the end of the day, forgiveness, you know, it's sort of like I kind of feel like if there's something that you feel divine feminines that you need to forgive for the divine masculine. So like if divine masculine has hurt you, if Divine Masculine said things, if Divine Masculine has made you cry, we we need to forgive, you know, forgive that. If that is still very, very raw within you, it needs to be gone. You know, learn to accept that things happen for the way that it needed to happen. If he had to go away from you, it's because he had to do his own healing. He needed his time. You know, give each other space. You know, give each other that, um, hold space for them. Okay, because then when you are together, it is important for you to understand that you need that, that, you know, with each other. Does that make sense? Don't hold on to anger, hurt, you know. If he didn't call you, he didn't call you, you know. He, you know, there's, there's things he has to do. Um, it's not about uh, accepting that, like, when you're together as a couple that, you know, he does whatever the heck he wants. No. You aren't together, you know. At the end of the day, when you are together, then things are, you know, let's work this out. Let's talk about it. Let's, let me hold um, space for, for you. So I kind of feel like, you know, forgiveness, you know, divine feminine has to forgive divine masculine if he didn't understand about the connection before and now he does. If he didn't, if he listened to what other people said, forgive him, you know, forgive him. You know, it's sort of like sometimes, sometimes we have the ten tendency, you know, we've all done it, you know, once in our lifetime to believe people that, you know, you would think to yourself, why would they lie to me? I got no understanding. 
Why would my friend, if you had a friend for 35 years, why the F would he lie to Divine Masculine? Like, you tell me, why? Because he's selfish? Because he's jealous of Divine Masculine? I don't know. Tell me. You know? Why would, you know, um, people do things, you know? Why? Because maybe they were in love with him. You know? M maybe some of your friends. Maybe some of the others. That, you know, people... You know, come in between, you know, uh, twins, you know, and that's why, like, sometimes it, the connection is very, very, you know, hard to actually, um, very hard. Okay, be willing to express love and I love you. So, Divine Feminines, please do not um, regret expressing love. You know, be open hearted, put your heart in the platter. There is, you can never, ever regret, you know, showing love for somebody else. No, because that is beautiful. You have the capacity. Understand this. You have the heart. Your heart is so big. You have the capacity capacity to, to give love to someone that's not giving love to you. You know they love you because they've told you, they showed you one stage or another in this lifetime. Okay. But to give it to, to them without expecting, it is a beautiful thing. Because you, you can only receive now. You know, can, you can only receive, you know, from spirit. Um, divine feminine loves divine masculine. Just, I love you. you divine masculine, you know, it's like... I'm, he plays a song to your soul. And only his soul plays a song to you. Only his soul. Nobody else. Other people might have, you know, thought or acted like, you know, they, they had your heart, but they never did. They never had your heart. Only he had. The thing is, he doesn't even realize about the magic he has within himself. He doesn't realize. That's why spirits told Divine Masculine, please love yourself. Because he doesn't know. He hasn't discovered that. You discovered that within yourself. You. You discovered that you're special. You discovered that you have magic within your, your cells and with your, within yourself. You discovered that you have such a beautiful connection, you know, with creator of all that is. Like a Spanish guitar. Yes. I love that song. Be supportive, Divine Feminines. Meaning, do not complain. Please don't complain. Don't complain. You know, uh, it's a, it's part of the journey, and the time, the time will be, when the time will be, when it's destiny for the both of you to be together. When he gets on that horse and he comes to you, when he says, "You and me." It's on like Donkey Kong. It is, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I don't know how long it's going to take me to, you know, pack my undies and, and, my, and my socks. Then wait a minute, you, you, he's going to be like, no, you, you've you wanted us all this time. Let's go. We're like, okay, where are we going? Where are we going? So Divine Feminine, what does Divine Feminine have to do for Divine to get closer to Divine Masculine. What does Divine Feminine have to do? What does she have to do? Twin Flames. Uh, twin Flames. Mm. Twin Flames. Look at that. We are one. Can you say that? We are just one. Divine masculine. You know, you and your divine feminine. We are one. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? It's like spirit's going to make me cry. Spirit. What does divine feminine have to do to get closer to the divine masculine? What does she have to do? <laughs> we are all one because the thing is that we're part of the collective have you figured that part out 
Have you, have you even felt that? Do you know that? You know, we are one. Have compassion with each other and love each other. We are one. Okay. What does she, what does Divine Feminine have to do to get closer to her Divine Feminine? What do you have to do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of course, we are mirroring each other. Of course. That's why they said twin flame. Aren't they funny? I love them. They have a sense of humor. You gotta you gotta admit. Like they come through the spirit comes through me, tells me what to do, and you know it's because they got a sense of humor. I am funny, but you know, it's like they 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 just crack me up. You see what I mean. So the spirit's telling you to relax. Have a margarita. Have a have a few tequila shots. Maybe go, I don't know. I go. I, I like to go out dancing. I just do. Um, that's my physical outlet. Just like Divine Masculine has a physical outlet of, you know, taking care of himself. The flight attendant was back this week. I like that. You know, a physical outlet. You know, sh you, know you also need... To be able to, um, sorry, I get so close. Um, okay, Ash. A physical outlet. So the both of you is sort of like having to take care of your health. Um, having to, you know, do things, you know, to, to get more physical. Because I'm telling you, it's like when you are together, the doors are shut, the blinds are, are closed. I don't know where you are. You might be in an island somewhere. See you later, bye. Have it, enjoy. We'll see you in a couple of months. And, um, you know, for Divine Feminine to realize that you are loved. You are so, so loved. Very, very loved. But it's like you need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. He needs to love himself. You need to love yourself. Twin flames, that means you are both mirroring each other. So have a look at how you're feeling because he's feeling like that too pole dancing do it just yeah just pole dance you know maybe you'll come faster when he finds out that you got one but you know i kind of feel like you know your passion ignites when you actually understand that you actually have somebody out there that's looking for you you know understand that you have somebody that wants you like actually wants wants you so love yourself and go yeah well but maybe you know um you know is he, is he gonna want me because you know i didn't do all my squats and my butt isn't the way it is you know is he gonna want me because you know you know it's sort of like uh, i you know i'm feeling a certain way you know it's just try to change this energy because the the matter of the the whole thing is that you know um the heart chakra is the one that keeps on popping up you know every single time that it is about you being hurt in the past and being afraid of it you need to let go of that um he's been hurt and he feels damaged and you know, but the both of you are coming towards each other. You are both actually coming towards each other. I love that. So much blessing and so much light to you, Andrew. May you be together soon. Soon, soon. Voila, just come together. That's it, guys. You know, it's sort of like, I want to see how, I'm going to use my naughty cards. I won't show you because, you know, um, but I just want to use these cards to be able to see how does divine masculine see his divine feminine let's see how he sees you yeah at this moment okay yeah, yeah he's coming for you 
Here's a comment for you. I can't show this one because it's it's the um, the new beginnings, you know, take, taking a risk and just coming towards you. Um, the other one is the Six of Wands. But this person just admires your beauty. And your beauty is your, one of your beauties is your tukums. And so I just, you know, I, I see this passion between you and this person. Yeah, yeah. They love you. They love your curviness. They love, they love you. Yeah. So creative what it is. Divine Feminine. How does Divine Feminine feel about her Divine Masculine? Ooh, wow. I love this. Anyway, okay. So we've got, I can't show you the six of one. I can't, it's spiritual events directory. It's one of the, it's the naughty cards. I can't show you. But it is about them uh, admiring your physical. Um, so we've got here the divine feminine and how she sees divine masculine. She sees him as the king of wands, you know, so he's, she finds him very passionate, very, um, you know, somebody that, you know, she feels, you know, she can be in his arms, you know, that she feels safe, you know, with him. Um, she, she knows, you know, that, um, you know, there's a beautiful connection, passion between the both of you, you know, the, this is the king that she wants. I feel like, you know, she um, sees the the night of, you know, him being in the night of wands like me, sometimes maybe a little bit unreliable at, at, at times, like maybe you're here, you're not, you know, that kind of a thing. But she feels like, you know, um, when he grows into maturity of, you know, um, the king of wands, because I feel like there's an immaturity now, you know, sort of like you're not doing what you're meant to do or you're not coming, you know, towards me how I need you to come. So the thing is, it's sort of like, you know, she she knows he can be the king, you know. Maybe not so much the king of wands. She knows he could be the emperor. Like, she actually feels he could be the emperor. Um, we've got the four of swords, you know, with it. I, I kind of feel like she feels that she is at Divine Maskin's mercy, you know. Like, she's on her knees. Um, I'll do anything and everything, you know, for you. And... Um, maybe you know she doesn't like that about herself you know because it's sort of like you know it's the both of yous together the both the both of yous will be would be at each other's mercy like that but it is actually quite good because the thing is that you you are willing to do anything and everything for each other but that's the that's the that's the way freaking relationship is supposed to be you're supposed to be at each other's mercy meaning meaning what can i do for you because i actually care Actually, I actually love you, you know, to, to, to the point of, you know, I, I want to see you happy. I want to see you. I want to do whatever it is. And that's not a weakness. That, that you know, because the thing is that most probably this divine feminine would not do that for somebody else. I'm going to tell you something. I just wouldn't. If it was any other masculine men and I had to, you know, you know, sort of like be at that person's, you know, on my knees, it will be a straight no. Um, but for Divine Masculine, uh, yeah, okay, cool. I'll go down to hell. If I had to if I had to get him from hell, I'd go down. I'll go down there, I'll get him, and I'll bring him back. Done. Um, but for maybe for another person, I just wouldn't do that. So Divine Feminine, it's sort of like maybe changing your perception on how you see the connection and about how it makes you... He, like he because it's it's sort of like um it's like a tug of war we've got with ourselves divine feminines tell me about that i want to look at through here tell me because you feel stuck you feel stuck because he's not coming towards you. It's like I'm stuck. I'm at your mercy. Um, I can't move forward, but I'm going to move forward. Watch this. Watch this space. Um, yeah, because you're the empress. 
you're the empress. You're, you, you're mastering yourself, your emotions, the way that you think, the way that you feel. You're getting your strength. You're getting your stuff together. You're getting your ducks in a row. You're the empress. You're not, a, you're not a little page. You're not a little knight. You're not one of the queens that is only in just one emotions. You are everything in one. You're, she is she's the bomb. Yep. And I say take that. Because you're going to want to be with this woman. Because she's strong. You're going to want to have this divine feminine. She is a rare gem. Uh, yep. Um, she's not even going to shield herself from her enemies anymore. Mm -mm. Why? She's protected. Very highly protected. There's no need. She walks in. She's the empress. You will, you will know. You will know. This is it. This is wifey. This is this is this is the one. This is the one. There's no doubt about it. There's just no doubt about it. She, he, you you're worried about him. You know, giving you an offer that might be small. You might be you know in your head about things too. Define feminine. Because you're sort of like going to be like, you know, you're going to be like, okay, I have to wait and see what he does. Because if he hasn't shown you how he's felt, you must receive. That's the law of attraction. You must wait to see what are you going to give to me? What are you going to do? What? Are, how are you going to do it? People are going to try to stop him from getting to you, to have you. People are going to do stupid things. People will. He'll take what he has, the little he has, and he's coming towards you. I see people, I see a snake. I see a snake trying to stop him from coming to you. Don't worry. Just chop the head of the snake and that's it. Throw it aside. Um, remember, you, you don't even have to worry about that because, you know, when it comes to spiritual union, it's like your angels and your guides, your your ancestors, the people that have passed on are working on this. They're, they're on this. They're on this. They're, they're, they're like, they know how long you have suffered. I'm just saying. What about communication? Communication. Some of them are trying to, like I said, you know, it's got to do with work, trying to get their things together. A new idea will come to them. Uh, some of them feel very overburdened and have a lot going on. But you're on their mind the whole time. Yeah, this is a union that is of two people together. The only third party in this connection right now is spirit. It's you, them, and spirit. Uh, harmony and balance, this is what you're both working on. You, it's time apart is time apart to be able to have harmony and balance. Divine Feminine must control her emotions. Divine Feminine must try to... Um, balance things out and divine feminine must learn to give so yes i know you've given so much you know to divine masculine so much patience so much love so much everything but then when the time comes of you being together so we're jumping a little bit of the both of yous in actual union that you are actually together you must learn to give because the thing is that because you've been hurt you're you're like oh i'll i'll give you a coin Instead of going, oh my God, it's you and me together, you know, congratulations for, for getting here. Oh my God, we made it. Oh my God, you know, um, this is, you know, amazing. You know, um, okay, well then let's start together. So you're just the empress. You know. starts with you it finishes with you you're, you're just you're just everything 
Mm -hmm. I love this reading. Is it is uh, picking up your energy again? Is it getting your power back? I love it. I say, well done, fire out, girls, fire out. You know, divine masculines and feminines. You know, fire out. This is this is amazing. This is really good, guys. Really proud of you all because it's the thing is it's like it's hard work to work on ourselves. Look at things in a different perception. Look at things in a different way. I'm not telling you, you know, to let somebody walk over you, but this is we're talking about an, an actual connection. We're not talking about somebody you met on plenty of fish or, you know, or or whatever else, you know, app that you've got, Bumble or whatever it is. It, it's this is this is somebody that, you know, this is a connection that you both actually have and and time and time will show you that this connection is that strong between the both of you. Healing on the heart, homework, heart chakra healing. Open the heart up. M masculines and feminines, open up the heart. You must do this. It's homework. Um, yeah, you just know. You just know. This person, you know, you are. You 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 could years can go by and it still be the same story. Same story. Same connection, same feeling, same thing. It's all over. John Lennon, starting over. You see each other, that's it. Your heart knows. It's just beautiful. Beautiful connection. So much love, so much light, so much blessings. May all your obstacles be removed. May all, you know, anything that is there that is negativity be removed and gone. May you all come together. May you all, you know, be happy. And I wish and I pray for that. And, you know, and everything that is above, you know, is working and, and helping you all. You know, um, trust and believe that. It comes back down to faith. Okay. Celine Dion, you know, um, love comes to those that believe. You know, love comes to those that believe. You know, it comes to you because you believe in the creator. It comes to you. Because you believe in the creator. So try to, you know, um, be in your heart space. Love the present moment. Love this present moment. Enjoy the journey. Don't be sad anymore because that's resisting. You. It's like you're stopping it. And just know, just know that it will be divine timing that the both of you are together. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be so nice and I wish that for everyone. So much love and blessings to everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful night. Share my things. Any private readings, please go to Spiritual Events Directory um, and um, keep an eye for my things. You know, look at my, my stuff so you can see what messages um, Divine Masculine uh, or Divine Feminine want to tell you. Look at my, you know, the songs and messages that I put up. And it's just a way for you to keep on going to keep the faith, you know, to to have a message between the both of you. I love doing that because at least you communicate that way. At least you, you think that it's not just silence because silence is terrible. So just, you know, keep the faith and, you know, chin up. Beautiful, beautiful souls. Love you all and take care. Bye, guys.